What is going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be covering a big tip that has helped me with my recovering and training over the last several months. So let's go. What is up guys, Coach Joe here at the Lions Den located in Colmar, PA. If you are new to the channel, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share the video if you dig it. Uh, but today's topic is gonna be a very big concept that has largely influenced my recovery and my training, especially during this new phase where I'm doing lots of hypertrophy uh, training specifically and getting myself to a new lowest body fat percentage. So that has been my main goal uh, and I've been putting up my workouts. So if you guys haven't already checked out the back and trap workout, I'll link it up right up here for you guys to check out. Now on top of my training, I've been really getting into nutrition and understanding how nutrition and training go hand in hand on a very deep level. And I've just been really fascinated with what I've been learning. So one of the biggest things that has been a game changer for me with my training has been what I consume during my workout. So that will be my intra workout shake. And I'm gonna go through my entire shake with you guys, um, why I take what I take, and maybe this will help you guys. But Disclaimer. before we get into it, I would not recommend this until you guys have consistent training down and your nutrition of some sort uh, that is also consistent, okay? We're gonna be talking about supplements and supplementation. So one, consult your doctor, and then two, don't get involved with this kind of stuff until you have been serious about training. It really won't work unless you have a foundation and a base to work off of. All right, so before we get into the intra shake, about 30 minutes prior to training, I like to take my pre-workout. Now, I use Earthed Muscle Supplements for the most part, and this is Stampede, their pre-workout. The reason I like taking pre-workout is for the caffeine. So I take about 200 to 300 milligrams of caffeine, and that's gonna help with uh, focus and just performance in general. There's plenty of studies on it, so check it out. Uh, the other thing that's added in that is citrine malate, which is gonna help uh, with the pump factor. So especially during hypertrophy training, uh, getting stimulus to the muscle and getting that pump is just a huge uh, thing that we're looking for and a great way to gauge uh, how the training is going. Okay, so the first question I wanna answer is why take an intra-workout? So basically, when we're training, we are breaking down the muscle. And those of you that are very serious and you're training very hard, that is happening at a large degree. So if we can promote uh, muscle protein synthesis and prevent muscle breakdown, that is a very optimal scenario that we wanna be in when we're training to get as much gains and growth as possible. That's why we're training, right? So an intra workout is basically providing fuel to the body and the muscle throughout the workout, helping us do that. Okay guys, so for the first ingredient for our intro shake is we need some sort of carb base. Now if you're a beginner, something that's super cost effective and really easy, it's just Gatorade. So Gatorade's a good one, um, but if you're a little bit more advanced, I like something that has clustered dextrin in it, which is actually what's in the Earth and Muscle Revival. Now you can find any supplement that you want that has clustered dextrin, but the benefits of clustered dextrin over Gatorade is the steady release of the sugar, uh, which is gonna be more manageable for our insulin levels. So as we are training, it's important that we have managed uh, insulin levels because we don't want our insulin to have huge highs and drop down super low. When our insulin crashes super low, we're gonna go hypoglycemic and our blood sugar drops, we don't want that. So we need a nice steady release of insulin and it's basically what cluster dextrin does, is it kinda just gives you like that nice steady uh, people equate it to like an IV drop of insulin that helps throughout our training. Now insulin is important because as we train, cortisol is going up, so insulin helps manage cortisol, which would break muscle down. So we want to slow the process of breaking down of the muscle, and we want to speed up growing the muscle, so that's protein synthesis. Now, once you have your carb, whether that's going to be the Gatorade, or you have your cluster dextrin, something like that, I like to incorporate protein. Okay, obviously protein is gonna help build muscle. So you wanna find whatever protein source you enjoy, you like, your stomach can handle, uh, and that has a good ingredient profile. Okay, so I use the earth-fed muscle stuff, which I really enjoy. 
uh, and that just kind of helped give me that protein base with my shake. On top of that, the Revival as a blood orange taste, so when you mix that with vanilla, you get an orange cream school taste, which I personally really like. So just to add a benefit there. Now, from there, what I don't have on the table is gonna be my essential amino acids. Notice I didn't say branch chain amino acids. I like essential amino acids because I get all of the necessary amino acids to build muscle. When you just take branch chain amino acids, there are some that are missing. So to me, it doesn't make much sense to take BCAAs when I can take EAAs and get the full range of amino acids to build muscle. Now, that's pretty much it for my intra shake. Uh, in terms of how much of each, I like to get in around 20 to 40 grams of carbs, depending on how intense the session is gonna be. And protein, I'll be anywhere in the same range, 20 to 40 grams of protein. It's up to you to figure that out, depending on your goals, uh, whether you're trying to maintain, lose, or gain weight, uh, but that seems to be what works for me. The last supplement that I have on the table is creatine monohydrate. I take creatine every day, five to 10 milligrams, and I figured, why not just throw it in with the shake, uh, just kind of build that habit, and if there's any added benefit to taking it when I am training, cool, if not, doesn't matter. So the thing with creatine monohydrate is it just helps get water to the muscle. You're gonna be able to maybe get a couple extra reps, increase your performance by five to 10% over the lifetime of taking the supplement. And if your doctor doesn't tell you otherwise, I think everybody should take creatine if they are in some sort of resistance training program, athlete, whatever, uh, why not get that extra added benefit of performance from taking that? Some people are concerned with the increased water retention. It's really not a big deal. I wouldn't worry about it too much, maybe one to two pounds, uh, but in the grand scheme of things, that's not a main concern to me. So that is pretty much my entire intro workout shake profile. I'll take that throughout the entire workout, sip on it steadily. And by the time I'm taking that last sip of my intros when I'm starting my post-workout meal, which I'll make a whole separate video on, but this has been a game changer in terms of recovery for me, you know, muscle soreness, uh, and just being able to go longer and harder during my training session. So uh, I'm trying to take myself to the next level, and these are little things that are gonna make a big difference over the, the entire span of this transformation. So if you liked it, check out the shake, get whatever supplements you guys want, as long as it kind of fits the profile that I talked about. A lot of this has been derived from RP Strength, John Meadows, these are guys I've been communicating with and they've been uh, helping me with my nutrition, my training programs, and I'm big uh, advocates of a lot of their philosophies. So check out those guys, they probably have a lot more information than I do, but I wanted to share anything along my journey that can maybe benefit either of you guys. So, stay a lean, mean strength machine, keep training hard, Keep staying safe, and I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.